What's up YouTube, this is MJ Procuber here and welcome back to my channel guys. In this video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire cube collection as of July 2019. So let's get started. <sighs> Alright guys, so I'm going to go on through all my cubes. Um, I'm just going to try and quickly go through it because otherwise this is going to be a really long video so let's just get straight into it. Um, starting off, I'm going to have 7x7 so I'm going to go through all the end by ends. i got my 7x7s here. Alright, first up is 7x7, Shang Chao 7x7. Um, definitely don't use it anymore, it's like all dirty and like just old. I wish I got the mini one but um, it was sold out at the time so I just had to get this one so it's unfortunate but anyway. Um, next one I got was this, um, Nuxian Honlong, this is much better, um, I later got, I think I got this, like, pretty, around the same time, um, so the Moe, the Mo Fang Jiaoshi Cuban Classroom Series, you know, the cheap 7x7, for a cheap 7x7 it's pretty alright, but I've only done, like, one solve on it, um, this one is a Yuxian Honlong, um, it's kind of old now, very outdated, but it's still a very good 7x7, you know, it was considered the best when it came out, but yeah. Alright, let's move on to 6x6. Six six. Alright, so we got two 6x6s six here. Um, this one's the Muyu Aoshi, I think I got, like, back, like, in 2015 or something. Um, it's not very good. <laughs> I don't even solve it anymore. Um, this one I got a little bit more recently. It's the Cyclone Boys 6x6. Six six. Definitely much better than this one here. Um, but still not... <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you saw, it's still not good. Come on, boot. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's my 6x6s. Six six. I only got two of them. Let's move on the 5x5. Five five. Alright. Alright, so these are all my 5x5s five five I have at the moment. Um, this one was the first one I got. It's the Moyu Outron or something like that. Or Hot Twang or something. I don't know. This came out like back in 2015. This is when I got it basically. Um, around that time. I think it was towards the end of 2015. Um, it's not very good, but it's it's still bull, you know. I could solve on it and still get decent times. But yeah. Next one I got was this Yuxian, I forgot what the rest of it was called, but it's like the, the really good Yuxian 5x5 that came out like back in 2015 as well. This was like really good, it was like the best 5x5 back in time, um, but now it's, you know, obviously not Cuban hardware changes, you know, but yeah, this is very nice, um, still like this 5x5. Um, next one I got was this Chi Wu Trang, this is still a very good 5x5 in today's standards, but it's a little bit outdated now, a couple of years old, you know, um, but still performs well, um, you know, still get good times. Now this one was the um, Yuxian Little Magic, it's one I recently got, did a recently unbox it, and now this is by far the best 5 of 5 in my head, <laughs> for the price as well, like this is actually really nice. For like a budget magnetic 5 of 5 this is actually really good. I've already been, you know, already smashed my PBs on this. Um, for 5 x 5 with this cube, so that shows how much better it is than all my other 5 x 5s but it's obviously still not the best 5 x 5 and there's better out there, but for like 24 bucks Australian dollars, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, so let's move on the 4 x 4s try and quickly go through as quickly as possible again. Let's go, let's go. Alright, we got quite a few 4 x 4s here. This one here was my first ever one, so Rubik's brand. Um, it's, it's actually garbage, like, ugh, it doesn't return and it's like, missing a centerpiece. I think uh, my friend broke it when he was playing with it, but I mean, I didn't really care. It was a terrible 4x4 anyway. <laughs> um, next one I got was a shang 4x4. I just like randomly bought it. I, I forgot where I got it from. I think it was like some like store in like a shopping center or something like that that was selling just random Rubik's Hoops. Um, it's not very good, but it's, you know, got a really crunchy, dry feeling, but it's, you know, it still turns all right. Um, next one I got was, um, I did have a Moyu Aosu, the really good 4x4 that came out back in like 2015, 2014, around that era. Yeah, I think it was like somewhere around there. Um, the Moyu Aosu, that was like so good. Um, I got that, but I took it to school and it got stolen, which was pretty unfortunate, but anyway, you know, stuff happens, so I moved on and then I ended up getting this budget 4x4. This U YJ Guansu, I think it was. YJ Guansu, I think it was. It was really good. This is, was really good for a budget for Y4 back at the time when it came out. I think it was like $12 or something. 
and it's like it was really good even like now it's still a good kill like the feeling is really nice in it but yeah it did have a couple of flaws but anyway all right so next cube i got was this chi wukwe um as you can see it's broken it's basically the same story of this thing too um except i broke it this time um it was actually i actually broke two of them one of them broke and then i had to super glue that and then another one broke and then like i couldn't get that one super glued so i just like didn't bother just had to buy a new one but you know i still keep it in part of my collection so yeah um next one i got was this ridiculous wukoi m basically another one of this but just a magnetic version um, this one was meant to be set up by speaker.com.au, but it actually wasn't, so I had to go do it myself, you know? If you want things done right, you do it yourself, that's what they say. Um, alright, and then after that, I got, this is my most recent 4x4 that I got, the Moyu Aosu GDS 2M, and this is beautiful, I love this 4x4. The outer layers are just so good, man. Inner layers need a bit of work, but, you know, just the outer layers are so good, like, the inner layers are a little bit slow. But they still feel very nice and controllable. Definitely much better than this. Like this was just feeling this just feeling like a little bit slow and not as nice. And the magnets are like so strong on that one. But this cube, it's so good. I love this cube. I've already broken like a bunch of PBs on this cube, single and average. But yeah. So that's about it for my four by fours, guys. Let's move on to three or threes. Now this is gonna take so long though, so I'm just gonna quickly just go through it, just do a couple of, say the name of the cube and then just move on. I think that's all of them. Okay. I think that's all of them so far. Um, I might just count this mirror blocks as a 3x3 three three wheel. I might just count this mirror blocks as a 3x3 three three as well. Um, but yeah, so, as you can see, got quite a bit of 3x3s three three here. Let's just quickly go through them. Um, I'm just gonna go from like, kind of like chrono chronological order, so like when I got it. So obviously this is my first ever 3x3, um, Rubik's brand 3x3. And it's seen some days, that's for sure, you know. Um, I put some petroleum jelly in it and it's like, you know, it was basically the best Rubik's brand out there. Next one I got was this Rubik's Speed Cube. Um, yeah, this is, this, this is destroyed, this thing. Like, um, it was actually really good when I actually, like when it was brand new. But after taking it to school and just people using it, chucking it around, you know, smashing it in that. If you, if you want advice, don't take your cubes to school if you really care about them. Because they would just get destroyed if, you know, if you don't watch what people do with them and that. Um, but yeah, so this was really nice, but it's now destroyed. Um, next one I got was this, I think. Where is it? Yeah, this is it. Alan Vision 2. This is still a really good 3x2, even today's standards. Um, it was one of the best back when it came out, back in like 2014 era, somewhere around there, when I started cubing. Um, but yeah, even now, today, it's still a good cube. Um, I couldn't like clean it out and set it up, it would still be a really nice cube. Um, but yeah, after that, I think I got like this thing, which is, um, this one was the Gogo and US shell. Um, this was like very revolutionary 3x3 that came out at the start of 2016, I think. So it's a few years old, um, but yeah, so it's very good 3x3. Um, next after that, I think I got, I think I just got a couple of budget 3x3s, like this thing here, it's YJ Guan, Guan Long. Oh, I, I forgot the name. It was like just a budget, you know, $6 cube. Um, then after that, I think I got like a mini hour long for like one-handed practice, but yeah. So it's mini Along. I might actually set this up again and see how it feels, you know, because I miss the Alongs. Um, and then like after that, I think I got actually yeah, this is what I got. The Chi Volk, very good too. I think even today's standards, it's people still use it to this day. For its age, it's so good. Um, but yeah, and after that, I think I got like a couple of budget two or threes, like this M O three R S. Um, still a good cube, especially for budget 3 or 3 it's very good. Um, and then I think I've got like some of this, some Kung Fu 3 or 3 I don't know what it is, but it's still alright, like, you know, most cubes these days, you know, budget, whether or not they're budget or not, they're still really good. Um, after that I think I've got like, again, uh, UM, UM, this is the UM. Um, this was very revolutionary 3 or 3 
first ever um, mass produced magnetic 3x3, three three, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the first ever mass produced magnetic 3x3. Three three. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit outdated now, but yeah. Alright, and then I think I've got like this Chi Thundercut version 2. I did have a Chi Thundercut version 1, but I gave that to my friend. Um, this is not quite as good as the version 1, but it's still an alright 3x3 three three to use. Um, after that, I think I got like a Yuxian Little Magic. This was very good when it came out, dude. Even to this day, it's still pretty good. Could probably put some magnets in it and, you know, set it up really nicely. It's a good 3x3. Three three. Um, oh, I forgot about this Waylong GDS. I got this actually before most of those cubes. Um, version 1. Um, not as good as the version 2, but it's still pretty good. Um, that's what I got next, was these two. Well, your Waylong GDS version 2. Probably still my main right now. I'd consider this my main as now. Um, SM, very nice cube. It was my main for a while, but I always switch between these two because um, they're very good cubes. But yeah, and then this is my most recent 3x3, the Rich Air Pro. Definitely a very good 3x3, but not a contender for my name, for my main at least. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's about it for the 3x3s. We've got so many here. Also have this Shang Mirror box, but no one cares about that. <sighs> Alright, let's go through the rest. I think we've got 2x2, two two, Square 1, Pyramix, Mega Mix, all these other ones. Alright, let's just go. Alright, let's just go through Pyramixes. Alright, so this is the first one I got. It's the Moyu Mang... Um, no, just the standard Moyu Pyramix that came out, like, back in 2015. Um, not very good anymore. This one is pretty much the exact same. Um, Suikib.com.au so messed up my order. Gave me this instead of this one. This is the Moyu Magnetic Pyramix. Um, very good pyramids, still on main to this day. Um, I don't even know if there's any better ones really. Um, but yeah, this is Yuxian Little Magic Pyramix. Not very good, don't buy it. Alright, we've got no many as many 2x2s as 3x3s, but yeah. Let's just get through them. Um, this one's a YJ Yupo or Guanpo or something, you know. The kind of just ordinary 2x2 two two that came out from YJ a while ago. Um, next one I got was this Kung Fu or either this Yuxian White. I think it was either one of these. This one is very good, it's Kung Fu 2x2, um, was very good, still alright now, like I would still solve on it and get good times. You should wipe, very nice feeling 2x2, two two. just doesn't really corner cut that well and it pops every now and then, like nearly there, <laughs> nearly popped there. Um, next is a Chi Wutra, this is my main right now but I might get a new 2x2 two two soon, maybe the Volk 2 or something. Um, still alright but it's a little bit, you know, dated and that, but yeah, this, this, it's about it for the 2x2s. I've got a bit of square ones here. This one here is my um, first ever square one. It's the budget um, Mofeng Cuban Classroom Series square one. I don't know. I forgot what it was. I think it's from... I forgot what it's from actually. I don't know. We know what this square one is. But it's it's a budget square one, you know. Um, this one's the next one I got. It's the cheese square one. Um, not very good anymore. It pops in like... It's just not very stable. Um, but, you know... It was a revolutionary um, square one at the time, you know, got people into square one. Um, next one I got, which was this Chi Vault, X Man Vault, I mean. Um, very good, very nice feeling at least. This is like my best feeling square one. Like, it is so smooth, like, especially the slice, it's just so smooth. <laughs> um, next one is this Yuxian Little Magic square one, very good square one. It's my main at the moment. I didn't think it would take over my vault, but it is actually very good. Broken multiple PBs on this average in singles. Um, but yeah, so that's about it for square one. Alright, so these are my last few cubes that I have. Um, it's my only cubes, the Moyu cube that came out like four years ago. Um, just pretty ordinary. Um, Mega Minx. Sheng Xiao Mega Minx that I got. I think I forgot how I got it. It might have been at that store that I got the Sheng Xiao 4 for it, but. Um, yeah, it's not very good. This is one that I got a bit more recently. Well, not recent, but like, it's my most recent Megaminx. Shang Xiao Raw Rod Megaminx. It's basically just a better version of this. Um, this is just some cube that I got for Christmas. It's a gear cube. Pretty easy to solve, but, you know, not very fun. And doesn't really turn very nicely. Um, now yeah, for cuboids, 2x2x3. Two by two by just the Chi 2x2x3. Two by two by um, nothing too special. Now, this is a 3x3x2 three by three by from Landland, Land, I think. Um, it's quite fun to solve one, but I don't really solve them anymore. It's just a 
you know, fun to have a couple of cuboids. Um, but yeah, so <sighs> that's about it for the cube. I try to go through it as fast as possible. The video is probably 20 minutes long. I don't know, but that's about it for the cube collection for July 2019. So, sounds like it goes. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Sounds like it goes. Thanks for watching. MJ Pro Cube out.